30,000 urban foxes. Some people are saying the simple answer is to just get rid of them. Well, I don't think so. It, it's not too many. This population is self-regulating. If there's not enough food, those foxes will move elsewhere or they will stop breeding. The problem in cities is that we waste so much food. We drop our takeaways and so much other stuff that these foxes are able to prosper. So there's never any need to pull the trigger on them. If we just cleaned up our cities, so you ran a story a couple of weeks ago about people taking bins out of Westminster. I think we need more bins and more responsible action and then we would have less foxes. But in terms of a threat, I can tell you that you're 62 times more likely to be bitten by a person than a fox. Mm. Yeah, so a knee-jerk reaction a, to this yeah, one yeah, Chris, alleged attack is okay. not something we should pursue, really. Yeah. Well, except, Chris, uh, you know, this fox took the finger off a baby boy, which doesn't happen very often, does it? With anybody else? No, it doesn't. But then the circumstances surrounding this attack are, are, attack are, are extraordinary. Um, I, I haven't had the chance to fully investigate it yet, but I'd like to see very clear evidence that a fox was responsible. Whenever we hear about these sorts of attacks, sometimes there are circumstances that suggest that it wasn't a fox that was re responsible for this. And, and even if it were one fox attacking one person, I mean, how many people very, very unfortunately are killed by dogs in our country every year? Certainly nearly into double figures, and yet we don't react in the same way towards our dogs, of which there are far many more living in urban areas. So I do feel that we have to measure our reaction to this after it's fully investigated and certainly change, as you've heard, uh, the, the advice that you, you've already heard is perfect. These animals shouldn't be hand-fed. They shouldn't be encouraged too close to people. If you're going to feed them, feed them at a great distance and watch them through binoculars. We don't want to try and tame an animal that then mistakes uh, you, you, uh, someone else for you, okay. and that's what might have happened in this case. Well, we should, I mean, you know, 